Today we're going to talk about objects in the sky. The objective is that the student is expected to observe, record, changes in the appearance of objects in the sky such as the moon and stars and including the sun. As scholars, Ms. Robinette here. Let's get together today and talk about objects in the sky. The sun is the star that Earth moves around and that gives Earth all of its energy. The next concept we will talk about is we can observe and record how the sun appears to change position in the sky, such as during sunrise and sunset and through the changing of a location of an object's shadow during different times of the day. Ancient people worshipped the sun for its heat and light. However, they feared winter when the lack of sun brought death and despair. Today we know the earth rotates, giving the illusion that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. The sun also appears to move in a curved rather than straight line as it slowly moves from east to west. Lengths of shadows cast by the sun vary throughout the day. Because the pattern is repeated each day, shadows were used to tell time. This eventually led to the use of the sundial. When the sun is low on the horizon, objects cast long shadows. When the sun is high in the sky, objects cast short shadows. The moon is an object that circles the earth and appears as a pale disk in the night sky. We can observe and record how the moon's appearance changes over time. The moon goes around the earth about once a month, approximately 29 and a half days, in relation to the sun, which changes how much sunlight falls onto the face of the moon. We call those changing shapes moon phases. During weeks one and two of moon phases, more and more the moon is illuminated by sunlight until the entire face of the moon is lit. This is called the full moon. During weeks three and four of the moon phases, less and less of the moon is illuminated. At the end of four weeks, the moon is not visible at night. This is called the new moon, which starts the moon phase cycle all over again. This pattern allowed ancient cultures to create moon calendars that signaled times to fish, hunt, plan, and harvest. These calendars also form the basis of, for the 30 to 31 day month used today. Stars are objects in the sky that make their own light and can be seen at night. Because of the brightness of the sun during the day, we can only observe and record stars in the night sky. When our area on earth turns toward the sun, the air scatters sunlight and turns the sky a blue color. At night, when our area on earth turns away from the sun, sunlight is not scattered by our air. Countless distant stars are then visible scattered across our night sky. Humans make patterns out of the points of light, like dot-to-dot -dot pictures, which seem to slowly move across the sky in big curves, just like the sun. This apparent movement of stars is also caused by the Earth's rotation. The sun and stars do not really move across the sky. Stars are actually present in the daytime sky, too. However, the sun is so bright that these dim points of light cannot be seen. Also, bright city lights can block starlight to someone trying to observe in the backyard. If city students want to watch for these amazing star patterns, their parents will need to drive out to the country to really see stars. This is the reason astronomers put telescopes on top of mountains far away from city lights. This week, you are writing about objects in the sky. Students will look outside to observe and record sentences about objects in the sky, such as stars, sun, and the moon. Create a book to tell how the objects you see in the sky change during the day and night. I can't wait to see what you come up with.